Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by one of the co-founders of Pixis, Harley Valiad, who is the chief, also the chief business officer. With its codeless AI infrastructure, Pixis is democratizing artificial intelligence for marketers, agencies, and creative professionals, helping brands in scaling all aspects of their marketing and augmenting their decision-making in a world of infinitely complex consumer behavior. Harley joins us today to tell us more about Pixis and some of his thoughts on AI. Thank you for coming along, Harley, and welcome to the gym. Thank you so much for having me here, Tom. You're very welcome. Uh, well, let's just jump straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Pixis before, what are your key products and offerings? Correct. So think of Pixis as a co-pilot for performance marketing team. So when you run digital marketing campaigns on Meta, Google, TikTok, all these ad networks, there are levers that you control manually, which is bid, budget, audiences, and creative. We basically have an AI that automates all these four important functions of running a digital marketing campaign efficiently. So the core offering is for audience automation, we have the targeting AI. For content and creative automation, we have the creative AI. And for bid and budget optimization, which can happen across the ad networks, which is shifting of dollars between Meta, Google, TikTok in real time based on performance is what we call the performance AI. The best part, all three systems are interconnected at the backend and it keeps on learning from the data it gets from all the clients. Awesome. Oh, now, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in your offerings? So one flagship feature which I would call out is the cross-channel optimization, which sets us apart, which is shifting of dollars between Meta, Google, TikTok, because all these ad networks are black boxes, as we know. So let's say if an e-commerce company wants to optimize for ROAS, today the decision-making of allocating our dollars between Meta and Google or TikTok is done manually. We have an AI that plugs into their attribution platform data and automates it. So that I would call is a flagship feature is something which uh, sets Pixels apart. Well, now I guess sort of shifting tech a little bit, what crucial gap is Pixels filling in the AI for the marketing landscape? Correct. So the vision of Pixels is to simplify AI for digital marketers. There has been a lot of myth that AI is a black box. There is no transparency. It is difficult to integrate. The integration time can be anywhere from two to three weeks. So the first thing that we we we, we wanted to solve for was the integration. So the integration of Pixels today is in a manner where there is no code. There is no Pixel. There is no IT integration required to get started. It's a very simple Chrome plugin on top of the Facebook and Google ads manager, which a day-to-day -day marketer uses on a day-to-day -day basis. So there is no heavy lift required at all in terms of integration. It is the same ads manager that they log into on a on a day-to-day -day basis through which they can integrate Pixel. So one is simplifying AI. Second is the transparency part where every action that our system is taking, it needs to be transparent in terms of why that action was taken, when was it taken, on which campaign, ad set or ad network was that action implemented. And with that action being implemented, what is the delta in performance that we are seeing? So these are some gaps that we're feeling where up until now, AI was a black box or, or, or something which was perceived to be difficult to integrate or complex to understand. We just want the marketers to have a framework where AI is in a very simplified format, where for them, it's just a co-pilot that they still do their day-to-day -day operations, but the velocity with which they can do uh, digital marketing significantly increases with Pixis. You're, you're augmenting their, their operations Correct. in a way. Yeah. Correct. You're augmenting their day-to-day -day operations in a way. Right. Okay. Well, now, how do you see generative AI impacting the marketing space globally? Correct. So for me, it's very interesting because like uh, we are solving for majorly the audience content and uh, the performance optimization, but uh, there are there are platforms that are also working on creating content from ground up where you type in a text input, you get uh, you get an output like you might be knowing stable diffusion, mid journey, DALI to systems where you can create outputs. The way, the way we are looking at it, there is no platform currently which is doing this for ads, which is static and video ads linked to the performance data. So every brand right now, uh, all the larger brands, let's say call it the Nikes of the world or the Adidas of the world, they are sitting on a gold mine of data on, on Google and Meta. So they already have historical data in terms of what type of ad creatives have worked or not worked. What we are working on building is a system that can crawl through the entire historical data. And going forward, you just type in, generate an ad for Nike for an audience, which is 25 to 35, uh, target it to be in the geography of, let's say United States. 
and the rest of it, which is the language, the theme, the color, the background, the call to action, all of it is automatically picked. The product is fetched from the product library. It can be automatically created. And the ad also will be linked to performance data, which means if our system publishes 10 different ad variations, it goes live in a campaign. It learns from those 10 ad campaigns that what worked, what did not work, based on which the next set of generation of creators will work. So for me, uh, one is one is this part of content. Second is, uh, I'm seeing personally a lot of data scientists and digital marketing team working together hand in hand, which I would say an year ago was not the case. It was purely performance marketers running the marketing campaigns. Right now, since there is enough awareness about AI, there is there is a concept of data science team coming into the picture for running digital marketing campaigns where they are customizing models and building custom AI models that can be deployed on these ad networks. And we already have a framework where we have a workbench for a data scientist and a workbench for a marketer. And both of them can be can, can be integrated on a single dashboard itself where data science uh, team can create AI models and the marketing teams can deploy them and experiment what works and does, does not work. Right, okay. Uh, well, I might just come up with my own question as well. Um, what is, I guess, the key challenge faced by your customers? What is that? What is the what is the sort of key challenge that your customers are facing at the right. moment? Right, correct. So I would say like in this market, if you have read, if you have read the VC market, the, the funding market is dry and everyone has shifted their fo focus from growth to profitability or EBITDA. So that's where a platform like us come into picture where we go ahead and and like our, our, our pitch is very simple that you test out pixels head to head against any manual system that you're running. We guarantee that your performance will improve by 10 to 15% in the first eight to 10 weeks of deploying the platform. So that's a very bold promise with which we go. And that optimization is not just on revenue. We also have a way where we could integrate the LTV values uh, and optimize for LTV to CAC ratio or profitability. So one aspect where every marketer or a, or every CEO or CMO is looking at the current marketers. How do I scale profitably is the word that they're like looking for right now that can I make a business which can grow profitably is where we come in. Second is, can I optimize my internal bandwidth? The same digital, the, the same marketing team that I have internally, can I can can we optimize that time so that they can focus on more strategic work rather than the executional day-to-day -day task which they are doing right now? So this is this is the challenge. One is purely performance. Second is the bandwidth optimization. The third part of it, which is very, very subtle is an IP that we build. So typically in Black Friday, Cyber Monday, every brand scales up their marketing campaigns at least by 2x, 3x. Now those scale ups up until now were happening manually, which is let, let's shift more dollars towards Facebook or Google. We have an intelligent system where through historical data, we know which days, which seasonality based on time of day, day of week, do weekends perform better than weekdays? There could be days when Facebook is doing better than Google. So shift budget from Google to Facebook in real time. There could be days where, where ad sets within Facebook could be doing better than the other 10 ad sets that have been published. So these are some interesting insights where we solve for uh, the marketing challenge where we create an intellectual property for a customer where the stability of a marketing campaign is not just dependent on the team. There is an AI that is being trained which then becomes an IP for every brand. So one is cost, second is internal team bandwidth. The third is an intellectual property that we create for every brand that we work with. Well, I guess one last question to finish off. If an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Pixis, what's the best way for them to do that? The best way is like on the website, we have a book, a demo, a CTA or a button that they can, they can approach directly. Or if it's a large customer, like they can directly email me and I can put them in touch with uh, our sales team. Uh, these two would be the best routes to engage. Awesome. Uh, well, it has been a pleasure having you on, Jim Hattie, and learning more about Pixis and what you guys are doing. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Pixis very soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Don.